Hello, hello everybody, hello everybody. Um, we're, I made the title because um, basically my plan now is whatever LeBron talks about on his podcast, we just bring it to here on the end of the week um, episodes because why not? So he, he spoke about um, basically what makes a team a super team and how it's more than just a big three or like the superstars and how it's about roster construction and everything, yada, yada, yada. So I just wanted to ask people, what makes a team um, a super team in, today, is the, in today's game? Is there any super teams? Um, is there a certain criteria you need to meet to be a, to be a super team? Um, yeah, pretty much. And Emmanuel, the reason we're late is because Ron was finishing the super chats on the panel. I arrived here when the show, when the show ended, so I did my job. But yeah, I just wanted to ask people about super teams. But really, I mean, we very rarely just talk about a topic anyway. People can just come up and talk about whatever. But the aim is to talk about super teams. So yeah, that, that's that's really what it is. Um, we've got a couple of people here ready to bring up. Hello, football. What's good? There we go. We got we got the Tim Duncan super fan in here. Uh, Okay. Anyway, anyway, football. I know you're the. I don't know why Dezo looks like a criminal, but well. <laughs> uh, I want to ask, ask you guys: What makes a team a super team? What makes a team a super team? And can I go first because I, I got something. Uh, I'll leave in about ten minutes. So okay, can I go first? Yeah. So to me, because of the negative connotations surrounding the word, the the way I define it is a team that looks like a championship team based on the talent before the season starts. Because if we're looking at how the team plays, then every year has super, has super teams, multiple. like, And that doesn't make sense. But the, the word super team has been started. like it, They started using it to refer to teams that look so good on paper before the season even starts. And that's how it was created. It's not like great team or a team that plays really well. It's a team that looks scary on paper. So if that team ends up playing trash, like that's unfortunate. But there's still a super team on paper. For example, the 2013 Lakers were a super team on paper. That didn't work no, out Dwight because of me. Steve Nash, right? That's Dwight, Steve Nash, Pau Gasol. Curry. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's a scary team on paper, even with the age factor, by the way, because people forget that Steve Nash was still an all-star. So the year before, he was an all-star. You cannot just say, oh, they're old. They cannot be a super team. They were a super team. They got injured, though, so they never really materialized, not just because of how compatible or incompatible they were, but they didn't actually play together. And then you got teams that did play together, but didn't look that good. Like Gary Payton and Carl Malone with the Lakers. Ugh. So, so that super although they did, yeah, they made the finals, but they still didn't look as good as they were supposed to look. And then and you got was, even the, the, the Cavs, the Cavs with LeBron and Kyrie and Kevin Love, that's a super team for sure. They were wow. more talented, they were more talented on paper than the Warriors, but the Warriors played better basketball. So, what? yeah, sure the Warriors. That? The, the Warriors are, are played better just the, the first two years, or are you talking about the, the 15 and 16 Warriors, not the okay, KD? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not KD, right. no, but with KD, of course, yeah, the Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors yeah, like, with KD, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, biggest super team yeah, ever. Do you, do you know how deep that Metro is for the Warriors? What? What do you say? He asked, do you know, he asked, do you know how deep the Warriors bench was? Yeah, the bench was great. So was the Cavs bench. Uh, wasn't as good. It wasn't as good, but the starting lineup was so superior. Like, it's, it's, interesting the... that was, it's, inter it's interesting there was no complaints about anything I mean. said. He brings up one LeBron team, all of a sudden we got content. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I'm saying like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because, because, like that. No, the, re the, reason, the reason it's always going to be surrounded by LeBron is because the super team, deb the super team debate, even though they've always existed, no, I, I agree only, really, only yeah. really got fueled by when LeBron went to to Miami. I think that's really when people really started becoming like the general. And Miami had one of the greatest pinches of all time, by the way. But that's another story. Huh? So, Not the yeah. Person. Such an asinine discussion. And Dear so, God, bro. Okay, okay. A team that has Ray Allen, Rashad Lewis. No, no, and, no, no, no. no. And and Mike Miller retirement home, Guman. Not bro, from stop. Seattle, my brother. Stop, bro. It doesn't work. 
they don't need I to mean, have all stars coming up. If people, if people are going to praise the Warriors bench for having Leandro Barbosa, I don't get why we can't praise Ray Allen. I mean, Ray Allen no, is Ray Ray Allen Allen Allen. playing with one leg, y'all. So what? Ray Allen, no. that's, Ray that's what the bench is for. Well, like, but, that, but those what? Miami teams, I don't care what anyone says. Those are very top-heavy teams compared to the Warriors. Like, the Warriors may not have had the, like, D-Wade and Braun, like, someone who's as good as D-Wade. But the rest of the team, to me, was more balanced than any of those Miami teams. In my I don't know. If you compare player to player, like top to bottom, it could be very close. But again, they can you can just call both of them super teams if you want. But I just don't think the Warriors were top heavy enough to be a super team before KD. I think they're top because what? Because let's let's okay. Here's how I look at it. Because I'm comparing to the Cavs, right? So before I, I said first, the first thing I said is before the season started. So before the 2015 season started. Did anyone have Clay Thompson above Kyrie or Draymond Green above Kevin Love? No. Or even close? No. So that's what I'm talking about. No. The fact that they played better doesn't change the fact that... I mean, what did, Ky- what, what, what did Kyrie do? Don't to tell me fair, Kevin Love, when he lost weight, he lost all his monster takes his talent, man, in his first My- two years of Cavalier. I, I don't know. The thing is, is, what, did Ky- what did Kyrie prove to be even ahead of someone like a dream, like? Kyrie didn't do anything in the league. Okay, Draymond Green, was ta- Draymond Green Clay, wasn't even a start yet. Did Clay no, do I anything? Agree, no, no, or, but my whole was he was, already done? He he. No, was no, no, but that's, but that, no, 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 no. But what I'm saying, what did we don't? The thing is, it's not a comparison to Golden State. It's about whether they're a super team in the landscape of the league. The primary reason they're a super team is because LeBron was on the team, not because of Kyrie and, and Kevin Love. No, but they were. If, if LeBron was on the team without Kyrie and Kevin Love, no one would call it a super team. Kevin Love was considered no. the best power forward in the league at the time, and Kyrie was like the best young player in the league. Nah, right. man, that was well, Blake Griffin. Griffin. That's, that's not the division of history. Blake Griffin was best power forward. Blake, 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 Blake was Griffin was the best power forward. There were people yeah. calling Kevin Love the best power forward. But so again, the, he, the general he was in discussion, right. but Blake was the best in the best power forward. So he was the second best? Like that? That's it? Right. I've I have a question. Yeah, because I may brought up a good point about it. Only okay, because just, just, uh, let me just finish one last thing because the Kevin Love thing is crazy. So people keep saying Kyrie and Kevin Love were losing before they joined. I mean, Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett were like the two last seeds in the conference before they joined Paul Pierce and the Celtics. Does that change anything Kevin about Garnett, that? Was, Kevin Garnett was way better than Kevin Love. I know, but that he was still, he was still a thirteenth seed. And Ray Allen was like the 15th Bro, seed. He won an MVP. Yeah, and he averaged 27 points in 2007. Anything else? I'm, I'm not, not saying like anything. Did, 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 did you guys? Did you guys? hear what I said? I didn't say they were better. No, Kevin Love. Kevin Love was averaging, I think, 26 and like. He was like 25, 30, something like that. Okay. If, you're, if you're averaging 26, 14 with like five offensive rebounds. Nearly 500. I think they were 40 and 42. The KG Timberwolves were like the 13 seed for like three years. Like they missed the playoffs three straight years. And then he goes to the... Goes to convincing. They didn't even fight for If I'm play. being for like, real like, with you back, all, what? like... The super team thing is very much overused term. There are only handful of super team in history. We are not ready for this conversation, but my stance is this it, that there are depends. very, very few. It depends on if you include history. after they, they played and we've seen them or it's just before the season starts. I agree and with what it says though. It's the preseason, like based on the talent, we think what they're going to do. Because if you just do it's like Monday morning quarterback, and you can't be like, oh. I thought they were going to win, and then they don't win, and be like, oh, they weren't a super team. You know what I mean? So he's right. Well, hold on. I and by the way, even with the, Cavs, even with the Cavs, Kevin Love was the rec- – like, people are talking about Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson broke the all-time record for points in a quarter. The record holder was Kevin Love, by the way. And okay. with the Cavs. Kevin Love, Kevin, Love Kevin, Love? Of, like, Kevin Love did have that game of 34. In a Kevin Love was also missing whole series, and it didn't matter. I mean, so Thompson, Thompson, no, no. 
Don't say it didn't matter and then say the reason the Cavs lost in 2015 is because Kevin Love. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, in, in the playoffs, in the playoffs, I'm saying, like, the finals in, their, in, 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 in the playoffs, isn't it? No, the finals in the playoffs. In their own conference, Kevin Love was a missing goal series and the Cavs are advanced. They used to, they used of to course, there's a yeah, limit. Yeah, they used to go to the No, of course, there's limits. Okay, so, so, okay, okay, how many times? You can't be like, oh, yeah, they didn't need Kevin Love. No, but you say that, right? No, but with other superstars, Mars, with other superstars, right? When they typically lose their second or third best player, what does that team look like? Do they still advance? Typically, uh, are they in a bum conference? Yes, no, no, yeah, in the east, in the east, in the east, in a bum conference. Um, if the team, so, so it, do you think Yas, you think Yas wins a series without, without Damian Lillard because LeBron did it without, without Kyrie before? He's in, even this, east has, in this east, that's way better than the east was in 2015. Is that Probably. is there is this east really, really way better? <laughs> is it? Is it? It's, it's not still supposed to be three questions, my guy. Power was so all about 13 so seconds. And nobody takes Hawks seriously. I'm meant to be like, oh, wow, yeah, Yannis couldn't get it done. What team, no, what team, was, what team were the Cavs playing in the first round that could be as good as the Sixers are this year? Didn't, they, didn't the Cavs play a 60 win uh, uh, Atlanta team without Kyrie? In the, in I asked, what team, nobody what team, take them seriously. What, what, Literally, no one. No, no, this is no, this is no, this is this is the thing. Cavs play in the first round that would be as good as the Sixers are this year. Oh, yeah. I don't know, but you know the Sixers are not really. None. Uh, uh, the answer is none. You, but, but you know the Sixers are not really. That was cute. That was cute, but you know the Sixers. That's cute, but you know the Sixers. No, that's cute. You asked about Yannis losing the Sixers. Okay, okay. So, so, no, 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 that can compensate without losing without losing their first second players in the early rounds. It depends on who they before, play before before the finals. No, no. Giannis, okay. beat, Giannis beat the Bulls when Chris Middleton went down. Did he in not? what round? Round one. First round in five games. Thank and guess you. who we lost Thank to in the you. second round? The Celtics. Thank you. A better team. A better team. The conference Thank is you. better. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, not whatever. Did, I asked you a question. He didn't buy a second player. He didn't want to play a second player. And now it's all bro, whatever. Bro, I thought like, oh, you're what happy. You want? You're the happy. Hawks won six, bro, the Hawks won 60 games, and, they, and, the, and LeBron didn't have carry, and they still won. So go ahead and tell me the Hawks are better than the 2022 Celtics. Hmm? Go ahead and tell they're me the 2015 Hawks are better than the 2022 Celtics. They're, they're relatively here. comparable. No, they're oh, not. No, oh, dog. There are lots That's of so hills stupid. to die on, but defending 2050 Eastern Conference ain't with that hill. Don't die on that hill, dog. Why not? Why not? That is a horrible hill. This is a horrible hill to die on. I can name several. No, what I'm saying is some of these. I, I don't even like including LeBron in this conversation because he was caring way more than I think people were letting on. My whole thing but you is. Brought him up. Thank you. you brought him up. You brought him up. I didn't up. bring him up. I didn't bring him up. I didn't bring him up. Yes, My whole did. thing is no, I, no, I didn't. I mirrored it. Yes, what did. I'm saying is for super teams, I think it's mostly all NBA talent. If you have a top heavy team with mostly all NBA talented players, or just a team that was like all star above all star level players with just a good bench, to, is is a super team. So okay, the did, Cavs, did Curry did Curry ever have a super team outside of the KD years then? Um, I was it maybe 2016? No way. There is absolutely no way. Is this closest? So the, so the 2015 well, well, Warriors were a super what's team. The, the what's the closest? Team. I said was the closest to a super team, but that's probably it. But okay. I wouldn't. It's I wouldn't cool. quite. Cla- I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cl- quite classify this as an overwhelming super team. If someone said would say it's not a super team. I wouldn't. I wouldn't argue with them. Okay. What What about the? But how many players of all star caliber do we need to have? Because the three beat no, Lakers all, with Kobe all, and Shaq did not really all, have a third option. All, no, yeah, and that yeah. wasn't that shouldn't even be talked about as a super team. I always think of it as like three all star caliber players that are also like top twenty. If we do all star, it's going to get crazy. That's a weird criteria. Uh, I'll take, I have I'll one take, question think, though, I'll like because yeah, first three beat Lakers aren't not super team, but we do regard two thousand one Laker as an all time great team. So how is that possible? That's why there is a difference between a it's super team and a, and a, and a, and a better team. You can have a super team on paper, and another team is a better team because of how they play together. 
Like Nuggets, the current we have Nuggets. Two top five. The current we have Nuggets two are top five good. players that are that much better than everyone else that are that good. And then uh, like a solid roster with good coaching. It, it like it's a case by case basis. You know what I'm saying? Like Kobe and Shaq on one team in their prime and someone just dominated the Shaq with like great it's coaching and a solid yeah. team. Like, coaching is a good point too it's, because it's, no one talks the, about coaching when it comes to super teams. It's the deba- it's debatable. It's debatable. It's the problem. But, the problem here is like that's why I always push back on the term super team. The definition is so fluid; it can't. I don't know how it's still a term. Like it's worse. It's more inconsistent than the term superstar. Like it's yeah. like some people say it's three all star calibers, but then they don't want to consider the that um twenty fifteen Hawks team, and they have technically three for the four all star right. caliber players. And it then they want to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't, it don't have a con- uh, consistent definition to it. So my that's take true. on the super team that's term true. is, like, the people who use it don't know how to evaluate teams. That's what it is. People think because you put talent, a lot of talent on a team, they did, that the way they perceive it, that it should be achieved a certain amount when in sports in general, it's, that's not how it goes. You don't win anything in sports on paper. That was, was going to be my question and point was – if you have a super team, can you have a super team without like the superstar you're building it around the LeBron, Curry, KD, whoever you're building the team around? Without them being fully optimized, can it be considered a super team? Because I feel like for a team to be a super team, it's got to be catered towards the best player on that team. And that's why I only think that the Golden State Warriors with KD is the only super team in NBA history. Because I feel like without having your best player on the team optimized, you can't be considered a super team because that's going to lead to you playing at a super team level. I feel like just saying, oh, these three players are some of the top 10 players in the league. Like they, that doesn't matter if they don't fit together. Man, I have a question when you're done. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, what about the Miami Heat team after they entered – after they – I wouldn't – maybe it was introduced, maybe not, but when they started doing five out with Chris Bosh shooting the three – to me, that is without a doubt utilizing your best player, because. But he wasn't a three-point them, shooter. Them though. being able to do that was able to not op, not just be able to optimize LeBron on the slot cuts, but D Wade in the baseline. I would say um, though, even cool. in the 2012 and 2030 Heatle team, there was case of redundancy between LeBron and D Wade, like. I, Even when yeah. D-Wed reduced his role, there was case of redundancy. Bro, even those two thousand, those, those Miami Heat teams still weren't fully optimized towards LeBron as best as they could. Like the Cavs teams to me were more optimized than the, oh, the like, Cavs like teams. Like Kyrie that's, and that's LeBron a, was atrociously <laughs> bad take. Yo, football but, um, just happened in this whole episode. No, that's well, the well, terrible well, take. Well, but anyways, hey, hold hey, on. Hey, sturdy, sturdy, I'm just letting him get it off, bro. I'm just letting him get it off. The 2016 Cavs teams didn't surround LeBron with more shooters in the Heat. But that's that's as far as our amount, I no, that, I don't think no, that's and, that's, and that's the thing, that's nothing too, that's nothing thing too. Football is like at the stage where LeBron was, that's off, especially offensively, that's how you optimize LeBron for who he was at that time. I don't, that's the thing. You're it, it's to me, in my opinion, Mars, and everybody on the panel, and everybody in the chat, the term super teams just get extinct because it's no, there's no consistent to, to its definition. Instead, just do basic what we. Well, it used to be prior to 2012, I mean 2011. There's an all-time great team, there's great teams, and there's good teams. I don't know what's wrong with that aspect. Yeah, but to there's, a lot, question, there's a lot of words that people can't define in 2024, but we still use them, so I don't Yeah. No, it's, my, it's, my, it's, my like, no, no, like, you can't, it's not about it's not about definition, Mars. It's more so implementing the premise of it. If your premise is consistent, I don't really care what words you use. But why even the premise the goes Miami up and down. Heat if, why don't we just ask the Miami Heat if they identify as a super team? LeBron said that he thought that, that's so LeBron, LeBron, LeBron right. did. But then that's the thing. Chris Bosh don't consider Chris, I'm saying, no, I'm saying that. But uh, if you were Chris Bosh, he don't consider that a super team. The but way he didn't give his he, promise he on that. He's the best player on the team? His opinion, that man. He's the top three player. He's one of the reasons why people consider that team a super team. Was he the best? He was, hey, according to the teammates, oh, hold on, according to the teammates, he was the most important, Mars. So I don't, okay. I don't know. Wait, according to, was he a, well, according to the best teammate, was he the most important? No. No. Well, LeBron, no. no, no, no. Stop no. rolling, exactly. bro. No. 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 So, he no. said, but LeBron did say, LeBron did say he was the most 
pivotal. That's the thing. They keep saying the same thing different ways, dog. Like LeBron said, he he wasn't the the most important, but he was the most pivotal piece. So it's like, <laughs> I don't. they like to say that because obviously the best player on the team is always the most important. Even JJ Redick was saying he says he hates it when people do it. This thing where they say the most important player is not the best player when it's obvious the best player is the most important too. Yeah, I've, I've I've never understood the people who be like, "Oh, this guy is the best player, but he's more important." That right, like the sense. best player is always the most important. My yeah, my thing. All right, so here here's here's the thing, right? My thing about the super team thing is, I feel like, I feel like it's a super team when, and Randall said it in the chat earlier, when a team has an overwhelming advantage over like talent wise over the rest of the league, I, I feel like that's a super team. But Russell like, Celtics is super team. Bill Russell Celtics yep. is definitely a super team, bro. Yeah, one hundred. Actually, actually, Mars, actually, Mars, you do your research. This, the, the the Celtics team wasn't as clear cut above everyone else because of the, the all around talent. It was because of Bill Russell, why he got that's over. That's why I lost. But, but that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Bill, like, it don't make any sense. I think here in the sixties, they are they, are they, are they a super team because they won every year? Because when you look at their roster on paper, you just thought it was just better than everyone. Yeah, on paper, they actually wasn't even the most talented roster, even for that time. A lot of people don't I know. Of course, there's yeah, yeah, of course, there's the years where the Lakers were more talented, but I think that I think was one was, year, no, 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 no. 1969. That's it. I mean, you know, you, that's, you want to say having two at a no, time. No, no, uh, uh, no, no, killer. It was it's more so, it's more so the fact that this the average teams were like throughout that time they was winning. Each team had an average of two to three all stars. Each team had an average of two to three all NBA players. I am looking so at like, all NBA teammate, and I am looking at production of team. No, 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 me, no, me. Like, all, 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 all stars. I was messing with all NBA. Those that's all all NBA teams back then. But I'm saying like, each team had two to three Hall of Famers, two to three All Stars during the time. I know that, so like, but was like, like, we like, have like, common sense to recognize that one team have Bill Russell, John Havlicek, Sam, John Casey, John Tom Stanger. Like both of them. Casey Jones, y'all gotta stop that Casey Jones, though. Casey like Jones Casey Jones done the Hall of Fame because Casey he was a coach. Casey Jones was an eight perimeter defender. Oh man, crazy, 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 Horrible basketball player. Crazy Jones crazy cannot games. do he didn't even, anything he didn't on even the court. Say, he, is, he didn't even say Bill Russell's. He literally pay point guard there. Yeah. He Casey Jones, Jones the was to Bill dog shit at basketball. Casey Yo, Jones, Casey Jones, Jones he got right hand. Here you go, Bill Russell, Jones. dribble handoffs. That's all he, 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 he got in the Casey Hall of Fame because his coaching career, not his playing yeah, career, though. Casey Jones was not Casey Jones is dog. Like I heard that he was really good perimeter defender. From the testament from the era, many guys. If you watch the you watch games. Yes, yeah, some really like simple. some games, some games. Like I did watch sixty-two time. fine. What you want to listen to? Eighty-year-old Kendrick Perkin tell you that Casey Jones was a good perimeter hey. defender and trust to that? That's stupid. <laughs> not that I am not that game. stupid. <laughs> yeah, I did. Speaking, but you just but got in public in front of people and repeated what some random analyst in 1960 said. Casey Jones was not a good player. Like Sam Jones, fantastic player. John Havlicek, fantastic John Havlicek. Bill Russell, fantastic player. Bob Cousy, <laughs> in like the late 50s, slightly early. Yeah, like, yeah. Very <laughs> he was player. MVP even in first you, year when Russ... He won MVP in Russell first year, if I Tom remember. Tom Heiser was not good. Casey Jones was not good. All majority, Tom like, Heiser three was really good famous. power forward. Bro. Tom Heiser was, Tom Heiser was, I, I, well, I think Tom Sam Tom Heiser was taking 21 think, shots a game, bro. Player. That boy was chucking. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just the error. Boy, no, no, no I think in but, 60s, the most talented team were the 65 Celtics. 67 Sixer and 69 Laker, if that makes sense. Question, okay. question, question. So, is, so none of those Warriors teams? Were they up nah, there? None man. of those teams are 60? Paul Arizin was expiring, dog. But clearly he was expiring uh, in the uh, 60s. I mean, I mean, hold on. We hold on, hold on, football. Like we're getting we're getting away from the point, right? I I only brought up the Celtics being a super team. Well, Mars, you brought up the Celtics being a super I team. Asked, that's, yeah. but that's, I asked. I just I just think that they are. You know what I'm saying? That's that's it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean for us to get this down. Year's Celtics team? Uh, uh, this year's Celtics team. This year's Celtics team. I do feel like it's a super team as well. Um, 
other crowd right. boxers. Come on, that? man. Yeah, like, I don't even know. That's the thing. I don't even know what the hell this team is no more, dog. It seems like the team is. It seems like the team is just really good as a super team. Yeah, that's it. If you're great, you're a super team. That's what that's what I said. An overwhelming advantage over the rest of the league, and I feel like the Celtics. You don't want that. You don't want that. Hold on. 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 Based off that definition, Derek White being good at his role, was and then all of a sudden Jalen Brown starting to heat up. So I can see it. No, based off that definition, was the Phoenix Suns in the mid to, in the uh, mid two thousand their super team? Based off that definition you just said, I don't think they have they had, a, they had they an had overwhelming advantage over the rest of the league. No, they had a definitely an overwhelming advantage across the league. Dude. They were the only team. They were the first team at that time to build to build primarily while shooting pace to space. In the mid, in the slow 2000s, they had an overrun. Didn't they get? I wouldn't say. I wouldn't. I wouldn't that part. It was the only one. Is that is that a strategy or is that a super team? Well, consider no, that's a, consider, no, no, that's consider, for the considering era. they knew the rules were going to change before everyone else. That sounds Thank like you. Like info. that's literally an advantage. That's literally definition of advantage. Sturdy, sturdy. I, don't think it was a, I don't think it was to the point where they were Yeah, they were 16 yeah, and 21 and 07. Now we're trying to play some now. Yeah, when, I, don't, when, I just when, don't think they had an overwhelming advantage. That's all. That's thank all. you. When they, they, I'm, being, when I'm being real with you, dude. The only reason why the Suns didn't win was the health and that strange as the uh, suspension. That's what it is. So Amari started yeah, with her. Yeah, that's the only reason why this team didn't win. It wasn't because of talent. It definitely wasn't because of play. David Stern, bro. Uh, Question: When the when they, when they yeah, and then I also think the you really picked the wrong team when about overwhelming advantage. That Cavs team won sixty seven that year. When Dave joined the Bucks, did y'all think the Bucks are super team? No, nah, I didn't enjoy super team though. No. no. Man, like, no. If everything is super, nothing is. Yeah, Chris Middleton's cook, yeah. Actually, Chris, Middleton, Chris Middleton's offense is actually he's okay. He's no, but I'm not going to lie. Hey, Mar, the I, thing I that's the ruining the Bucks, the thing that's ruining that team is Doc Rivers. Are the, but Loki, that is what's I, ruining I, that I, team. I saw this on Twitter. This may be far it's out. Not just are, the, are the Bucks tan, not. The book tanking right now to not see? Oh, Kevin there's Kevin. a lot of blame <laughs> to be placed on Doc. <laughs> I have no idea think. what's happening the in Milwaukee. The disparages with, their, with the defense, with the way the Bucks are now versus when they had Adrian Griffin at coach, it's – Dastardly horrible. Yeah, their offense has gotten worse since then. That's no, they, they they have the same exact flaws as they did with Griffin and with Doc. It's not a coaching issue. Is not the not the main issue with this with the Bucks. It's not. Yeah, I'm blame Joe Griffin. I know, I know, I know. Can I read that? It's okay. Yeah, don't yeah, don't be wrong. Don't be wrong. Don't be wrong. Okay, thank you. Um, State champ Francis said super teams are relative to the current competition. Um, I think Back. that's kind of what Ezra was saying. Um, State champ Francis again said, "All super teams got to have some type of aura." Back. <laughs> okay. And then Liban said um, to ask football, "Could Yanis beat the 2015 Hawks without Dame?" No. Not on, okay. not on the Caps team. If you what's put, if you put Giannis question, on the though? Yeah, that's a weird question. No football. That's how you speak. You literally say, "Oh, this te- this player beat this team." That's how you spoke. That is how you asked that question. You literally know what you said. You said football. You verbatim said football. You verbatim said LeBron beat the Hawks without Kyrie. I don't think. Okay, fine. I don't think. I don't think Giannis in the same position, the same Cavs team beats the sixty-one Hawks team without his point guard. Can I? Can I? By the way, Kevin Love did not have Kevin Love or Kyrie in 2050 Eastern Conference Finals. Shit was still a sweep. Thank you. The Hawks weren't good. Don't like. Yeah, they did. Yeah, like where is this retrospective guessing coming up from? Like, I'm sorry. If some people are dumb enough to go there for you, that's it. And Jeff Teague were all star caliber players. I don't know what to tell you. Like, no, no, I'm not, going off, great. I'm not going off. I'm not going off. I'm going off. I'm going off play. Like, that's how teams really get judged how they play, not because of names. Sturdy, I have a question. Can you hear me? Bring up that they had four. Yeah, players. go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, so I only say that. I only say that to like the people who try to use the super team thing. That's why I'm saying the, there's no definition for it. It keeps changing. My question for you, Sturdy, is this. At what point is there ever possible to have a super team to buy your definition? Considering, let's say, for example, the five best players on the planet are on one team. Is that now a su- is that not a super team? To me, it let's, depends let's how they say, fit. 
let's say Jokic, Giannis, you know, like that. That's how they fit. Let's say Jokic, yes. Giannis, you can't just Noel, put the challenge with that. How many good teams? LeBron You're talking James. The five best players on in the world on the same team, and you Mars, put us Mars, Mars, Mars. If you put, well, this is what I mean. Put, this is exactly put, what I mean, right? If you put something to it, it's right, very. Right. If you put it some, if you ask something, if you send something to it, it's very extreme. It 20, starts to sound ridiculous when you realize. Okay, let's say we put the uh, ten best players on one team. Let's have a, a an eight man rotation with Joel Embiid, Giannis, Jokic, uh, and it's end up the There's rest of the, the, of the same team. It's got to be a super team. I mean, you can't look at that and say it's anything else other than a super team. That's why the term exists. I mean, if it's not, what else is it? Uh, it's, it's a very, actually, very, actually, very, 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 very good team. Basketball is not look up 2K, the origin, no, Literally, literally if you look up the origin of the term. Team, team. No, I'm answering your question. I'm answering your question. A hypothetical. I'm answering your question. So even, like I said, I don't evaluate teams based off names alone. I, 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 I evaluate teams how they play and how the talent fit together. For example, Westbrook was still a top 15 player before he got traded to the Lakers. What? To most people. But people don't consider that super team because uh, there was not an obvious good fit. If you think Westbrook was a top 15 player in 2022, then. But I think you're missing my point. The point is. No, no, I mean, some people did. Most. I'm, that's what I said. That's yeah, why I they thought, they thought that then. Oh, and look, I'm not coming at you, but my point is if you have this um, amazing amount of talent on one team, what, what and let's say for your let's say say for your sake of argument the team is just they're going eighty two and zero they're they're not losing a single game right is that still not a super team how far can you push this before you have to concede and say okay look it's not a super team but it's just a very 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 it's the best team in NBA yeah, history by a wide, that's why wide said, margin yeah that's why I said I don't use the term super team because one how people evaluate it but also. What's wrong with saying this team is a great team versus this team saying it's an all-time great team? Why do those terms? Why do those terms get erased? So like what you said, right? Oh, for your exact, for your exact definition, if that hypothetical team with 82 and 0, I'm gonna say that's an all-time great historic team for the regular season, regardless of the talent. They went 82 and 0. So is your term is your is your beef with just what the term super team? You just don't like people using it in this. I, I guess that's it. Really? My problem. My problem is. My problem is. It's it has no consistent definition, and the way people use it as if it does that's the problem. And, and like I said before, for some reason, if I say if a team's an all time great team, for it, I get penalized for saying it's not a super team, that don't make any sense. Hey, I have a question. I, I kind of see this. it as like, I kind of see it as like, all right, look, it, it's just a weird analogy, but like, say you just start piling up pieces of sand, right? Just like adding a little bit of sand, a little bit of sand. At what point does it become a sand dune, right? Instead of just a pile of sand, it's kind of the same thing. Everything is kind of on a gradient, but at some point you recognize and you're like, okay, this thing is a little pile of sand, and this thing is a sand dune, right? It's like a big, it's a, it's a hill, right? You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a bit of a gradient, but we can all look at that gradient and say, okay, when it reaches this certain point, it becomes X, it moves from X, and now it moves to Y. Do you see what I'm saying? Like at some point, I think there's no clear definition. And no, I get you saying, I get you saying. And I think Mars put in it or like a, a while ago. He was saying like you kind of know a super team when you, yeah. when you see it. It's kind of like okay, we can we can understand that at some point this team is is a very good team, but it's not a super team. But if you start adding talent, you start adding team, and the team is just so astronomically better than every other team, it be, at some point you have to call it a super team. And that's where I'm having the disconnect. I guess you just don't really like the fact that people are so. Uh, flippant with the definition, but I get that. But at some point, you have to recognize and look at a team and, and say it's a super team. You know, what it? What for example, for example, that, do you? Hold on, I'll give you. I give you a good example. I'll give you a good don't question. Believe that they're. What do you think? Do you think this? Else? Yeah. Do you think this? Yeah, exactly. Do you think this? That was the perfect question I was about to say. Do you think this? This year, Celtics became the super team. Hell no. Because Brad Bradley Bill's Bradley no, no, to the, no, to the brother. Bill, no, like yeah, to the brother. So, yeah, to the brother who was going back and forth. Me personally, no, I don't say, I consider it a super team. No, me personally, no. But you understand, but you understand what people say, try to say when they bring up, oh, they have a top ten net differential of all time. They yeah, the that, last yeah. team in the last twenty years to have this much not. of a differential. How are they not? No, no, that's why I'm saying exactly. That's what that's my point, right? That's, <laughs> that's my point. point. See, he to you to that brother here. He's saying they're clearly not, but to you, they are. I you see what they clearly saying? weren't, but I see what you're saying. My thing is, it's like this. I can't. Might let other people's definitions determine my definition. You see what I'm saying? Just because someone else gets the definition wrong, like someone may point at a chair and say, "Hey, that's a car," but that doesn't mean that it's not a chair. You know? So you see, you see what I'm saying? 
Like just because nah, you get something nah, wrong. Like you are trying nobody, to use a subjective agree, thing as a universal truth, on, brother. Nobody can agree on super team, but most people can agree on what a great team is. Like most people can. That's agree what I'm on. saying. So that's just what use I'm great saying. team in his eyes. I'm not saying he's right or wrong, but I'm saying that's. What are the 2016 saying. Warriors a great team? They're great to me. Oh, all yeah. time they're, great they're team. All time great team. Some, some people would I'd say, say I would almost argue that 2016 team was a super some team. Some people I'm would say they what? Some people would say because they ain't win a ring, they're not great. No, you're a great right. team. Whether there's a team like no, nah. nah, you. you. You're a great team win or lose. Like, so are you ready? Like, like, like 2060 like, like, Spurs was also all time great team. Here we go for a hot take. Yeah, to you, but to other people that say you didn't win, so you're not a great team. What up, dude? That's what like, there's for, still, for example, there's not even a universal agreement on what makes a team great. So, like, just be just. I don't team know great. anybody that would. Call like, there's not going to be a not universal a agreement team. on any subjective term. So, if if the argument for there not being a universal agreement on anything subjective, so we shouldn't use that term. We might. Well I don't. Not, I've never heard that, anybody say the word "great team." There's no universal agreement on what makes a player a superstar. Who who does yeah, who says the Warriors aren't a great team? Like, who says that? I've heard you haven't heard people say the no, never in my life. Great. I've heard people. I never, I never heard, heard people say they aren't the best team, but you didn't get it done. Like you ain't heard. No, I've heard no, people say difference. they aren't the yeah. best team of all time. But somebody saying they aren't a great team may be the dumbest person to ever watch basketball. They're dumb to you. That bro. is. Bro, no. that that is a bro. No, what? Well, the the, uh, the problem we're having is that <laughs> we're using so subjective dumb. terms to for who refuse to call players great because they haven't won. It's the same. Well, concept. well, yeah, like terms like great and good or and super team are just a subjective term to evaluate exactly. with something that's right. objective. So, right, we're never gonna agree on it. So, like, say is LeBron James a great player? Well, some people like, well, obviously he's the best player. Or he's he's good. You know, he's great. But it's just like at some point you're not gonna agree on anything. When you're using that subjective term, so but I feel like I think should, it's more exactly. likely that's for like, people. That's what I'm saying. Like we can't be like, "Oh, super teams are subjective," so we, get, we might as well just not use the term because we can't agree. But that applies to every subjective term, every single. But one. that, but the thing, no, is no, that's what I said. That's what I said in the beginning. That's what I said in the beginning. More is an objective never, definition of it. That's if I say a sandwich is good, it's it's like, no like, universal like, term though. Like we can never for our life agree who what defines superstar, what defines all star caliber talent. Like, well, my point is that that's like, okay. Like, that's fine. There you is the nothing definite here. Like, no, that's why. That's why like, I said. Yeah. That's why I said in the beginning that. That's why I said in the beginning. It's more so the disparity, like how far each definition is. Like even for superstar Mars, right? When you go back and forth for what a superstar is on a panel, there's some level of common ground. And for super team definition, there's I don't, I don't, I don't see enough of the common ground outside of having a quote unquote superstar play on the team. After that, it gets I think crazy inconsistent. I think there's too I mean, many the, the moving parts. The ground seems to be somewhere with a top five player and two all stars. Usually gets put in the super team category. Now, then you end up having the arguable all stars, or is this guy really good enough to be the best player on the super team? So the Suns is like you got two all star, two like one KD top ten player, Devin Booker top fifteen. Is Bradley Bill good enough to make that team a super team? So then you get the conversation. Is Bradley Bill all star caliber still? Then you get the conversation. Then you get the Warriors. It's like, okay, you got two top five guys and then another two all star guys. That's a super team. And then you get the Brooklyn Nets of KD, Kyrie, and Harden. It's like, you got two top 10 guys. You've got Kyrie is clearly all star caliber. That's a super team. Like the general consensus is somewhere in that ballpark on yeah, but so two, two top but 15 guys <laughs> with another all star level guy. Usually gets called a super team. Mars, but that okay. That, watch this. Watch this. Hold on, real quick. Watch this. There's a there's a real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. What's real up? quick. There's a is is Tatum a top five player to you? No. Do the Celtics have two top fifteen players in the, in the league to you? No. But that that's just me. That's just my personal definition. No, no, that's that, no, that's that's what I'm saying. Because you're not the first person on this platform alone. That considers himself seeing this year himself seeing a super I just team. I think they have an overwhelming. Bill Simmons will agree that's with awesome. you. Hey Mars, like, but that thing they're, with the best player, it moves a lot because let's say instead of uh KD on that team, let's say Jokic was on that team. Or somebody they we know super team are formed when they don't like the star player. Let's say it's let's just say it's LeBron, prime prime KD. Fuck. They would call that a super team then, and it wouldn't be no question for most people. Like I think it would be more of a consensus that that was a super team if that was right. 2018 KD. 
But yeah, because super teams are used as a negative, which is weird to me. Yeah, so well, like that, 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 the best player, it depends how good they are. Like, I think people are just recognizing a pattern, right? You just look at a super team, you say, okay, there's this has a certain amount of talent, and that's why the term was ascribed in the first place. You can look at the Miami Heat, in the first Miami Heat team, say, like, they have, you know, all this talent amassed on one squad. So they look at it and say, hey, it's a super team. I just feel like people are recognizing a pattern and, and you know, putting a term to it. I don't think yeah. that's, I don't think that's wrong. I want to ask this one question. Does coaching matter at all? Because I want, I was thinking about this. Let's no. say a team, a super team, quote unquote, had Shaq no. on there. It Let's does. say he was the best it player does. on this team, right? What if the coach was the worst coach in NBA history and was like using him like JJ Reddick, like totally outside of so the book the he's most effective. Yeah, so so the Brooklyn Nets. The thing is, a if super his team is not if the same does, because the coach is using him that in a way be that be doesn't match. Like, O8 Celtics is considered a super team, and they won with Doc River, y'all. What did you say? The Doc O8 Celtics are coach. considered a super team, and they won with Doc River, a horrible coach. No, I'm saying something that's just. Really, the really 2021 bad. Nets had Steve Nash, and to me, that's a super team. Right. The Nets are like, really really yeah, I don't, I don't think the coach really, the coach, yeah, the coach doesn't really. The, co the coach can, can help w determine w the success of the it. team, but uh, like someone said, I don't think you need to win to be considered a super team. No, like, you can fail because I, of I, just, I just think the term is uses. I think it's terms is used in a negative way for for players that you like or don't like. Uh, to be honest. Situation. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really clear go, that people, people use super team to dismiss some people and to uplift others. Be like, they beat a super team, or this guy needs a super team to win. So obviously, like, right? Because because even when the Celtics got to get an 08, right, the term super team wasn't used. It was big three. They didn't really use super team. I, I was there when when they got together, and that that happened. It was I was three. there too. Then, I was not, but I'll take your words. It, it wasn't, it was Mars. It wasn't super team. They were used, they were saying big three. The reason, big three, I, I think the big three. Why? They were I betting favorite to win the championship though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah they, they just underperformed in the playoffs. Why? Listen, listen. Well, I'm one of championship. Undeniably yeah, sure. one of the best players in the league. At that point, none of them were undeniably one of the best players in the league. You can argue that Kevin, Kevin Garnett was still a top player in the league, but undeniably, no. What? Where, where was they were Kevin, still favorite. They were the best. Bottom. Where was he ranked? Hey. I would say you know, you know, you, what are y'all you know, talking about? You know about to tell me you know about to tell seven. me there's five people on the planet bad in KG. You know about to tell At me. At that time, yes. <laughs> you know about to tell All me right. that. Uh, who are the five right, people? CP3, LeBron, Kobe. Who else? Chris Paul. CP3. Yo, yo, kill him. Come on. Oh, it's Chris Paul, yeah. I'm, I'm not when KG I, went I'm there. So coming off the 07 season. I'm not saying he is definitively better, but when he has KG case. Went there, when KG went to Boston, so the 07 off season, 2007 off season, Chris Paul was not better than Kevin Garnett. At all. Like he, that was, year, he, Chris he Paul had his best year, like, arguably, yeah, in 2008. That season he did. I'm not saying, I'm saying, but when KG went to Boston, yeah. So in the summer of 2007, no one was saying that Chris Paul was better than Kevin Garnett. Now during the season, all right. I said, oh, yeah, I can buy that. I can buy that. Yeah, yeah. Garnett, he was still young, and Kevin they Garnett were was struggling was with Hurricane Katrina. And where was where was Paul Pierce ranked that year? Like top ten, top 10? between I'll ten, say, ten, I'll, ten to twelve. Top, 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 top ten, easy. Top ten, easy. Top, top 10? Top 15, top 15, just be in the middle. And where people, what, what was people's, people's opinion on Ray Allen? That's a top 20. Definitely top 20. Definitely top 20. Definitely top 20. That seems like something that would be considered a super team. know, they were clear favorites when they formed together. They were clear favorites. Of course. Of course. Yeah. And it sure. wasn't just them. There was James Posey, Sam Cassell, all the other guys that joined me. Eddie yeah, House, yeah, yeah, Kendrick Perkins, Rondo. Sam Cassell, I was literally his last year. We got to stop saying Sam Cassell. Cassell. Respect Sam Cassell. Respect Bro, Cassell. Cassell. Respect Bro Cassell. he barely played yeah. that year. Hey, hey, no, but, but, hey, no, but, but Mars, speaking about that part, bro, bro is a genius, bro. Learning a football oh. offense and coming and implementing it into basketball is something insane. Spell, spell. And I'm an would, Eagles fan, yeah, so Chip you. Kelly was our coach after that. And me learning that made makes a lot more sense that he went 
and learned the spread offense from Chip Kelly. And it was like, how do I? That is insane coaching, bro. That dude, yeah, Eric Spolstra, that, that's, that's that dude best, is serious, bro. When he wasn't even the best player on his team, he didn't even get the Finals MVP. Oh, we're not doing. Yeah, this. let's stop talking. Oh, we're not doing this. I got a super chat. I got, I got a super chat. I got a super chat. Um, Drip Bayless said, "Can we do Kobe a uh, versus for Kobe and MJ? I'm interested to see how you value their individual defense and offensive skills. So, yeah, we can do that because we're not about to talk about if KG was the best player in the Celtics. No yeah, way. I don't. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna we're gonna do categories like we've done it before. It wasn't debate. Um, no. So no. we're gonna do ca- we're gonna do categories. There's only one person in life that ever tried to debate that, and that was the person that shall not be named." So, yeah, we're, 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 we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do categories and then we're gonna i'm gonna everyone i'm gonna ask everyone mj or kobe in that category and then we're gonna go down we're gonna see where's more categories blah 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 everyone understands yes yeah oh, okay um i'm gonna just go i'm gonna go in order as i see you on the screen so the first category is finishing kobe versus mj football mj 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 like I said on and on. Going in order like do you guys listen hey, come on yo <laughs> my bed my bed my bed <laughs> Okay, so when M- I say M- your J. name, you then respond. Okay, thank you. Dezo. Give me the boogeyman. Hellfire. Definitely MJ. Thank you. Uh, Killer. MJ, like, this is not supposed to be a tough question. Well, everyone answered pretty quickly, so I don't think it's going to be tough. Um, Trigger. MJ. Uh, who is this? Is this, who is this? Steven? MJ. That man's on 2K. Uh, hey, hey, yes, I am. Thomas, I am. the ball headed menace, Brent, Jordan. I mean, they're both ball headed and sturdy. Hey, he had for uh, MJ. Next category is mid range football. Uh, Kobe, Shit, that's tough. Deza, I beg your pardon. Um, uh. Uh, I'll go. I'll go, Aaronus. Hellfire. Kobe. Killer. Mm. Wizard Jordan was better statistically. <sighs> <laughs> hey, I love this guy, man. I love him. Trigger. Yeah, do, man. yeah I'm gonna go MJ, but it's it's really because Kobe Bryant was taking impossible shots all the damn time. But it's mm. Kobe Jordan. Steven. That's close. I'll give it to MJ, I guess. Thomas? This is a lot closer than I'd like. Uh, it's MJ by a significant margin, in my opinion. Mm. What? And Fred. Uh, slightly yeah. Kobe. Y'all, y'all, yeah. same. y'all want the same MJ. Boss you didn't ask me, but it's Kobe. Oh, my fault. I thought I, thought I did. I'll see my fault. My yeah, fault. don't let it happen again. Yeah, it's close. Hey, Mars, he must not know who he's talking to. <laughs> <laughs> I Welcome to the show, Sir, Helios. Are you trolling or are you for real? Believe that. Let's go. Yo, he yeah, must bro. not have known, bro. I don't think he's aware. I don't think he's aware. Yeah, someone, needs to, someone needs to teach him. I don't know what that way. Does he know, chat? Yeah, I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. Um, so Helio, Helio, MJ or MJ or Kobe, mid range. MJ, MJ. And then MJ or Kobe for finishing. MJ also. Okay. Next, next, yeah, next category is um, so three-point shooting. Um, um, MJ won it. Next category is three-point shooting, football. Co- Kobe, this should be a sweep. We'll see. Um, Deza. Beam. Hellfire. Kobe. Killer. Kobe. Trigger. Kobe. Uh, Steven. Kobe for a three-point, and I want to change my answer to Kobe for mid-range as well. Oh, you got, you got nice. peer pressure. Thomas? Nah, I didn't get peer pressure. I had to think about it. It was close, but I had to think about it. Three-pointer for Kobe, yeah, Kobe. Uh, Sturdy? It's Kobe for three-point. And Helio? Well, you know, with the will and desire of MJ, mm-hmm. it's still Kobe, though. Ah, damn. <laughs> um... <laughs> Next category is off ball play. So how good they are off the ball. Um mm. football. Oh, that's, yeah, that's like off ball on defense or offense? No, there's an off ball defense general. category. This is offense. This is offense. There's an off ball defense category. Okay. This is offense. Oh, okay. okay, so off ball offense. Uh yeah. 
That's tough. Is it? I Is like, it though? I like MJ. I like MJ. I like MJ. Okay. It's, it's, it? This is the closest one. It's the closest one. Um, is it though? That's the closest one? Yeah. Give me uh yeah, I think I'm a – give me the, the dunk contest winner from nineteen eighty something. I don't know. Uh, no. I Kobe did it. Kobe did it. Kobe did Kobe did win the dunk contest. That's what, that's what now, I, will, I will say. I will say the dunk contest Kobe won was so bad they just abandoned the dunk contest. <laughs> yeah, but, that, that was awful. That. But other than that, yeah, he did win one too. Um, how far? Um, MJ. Killer. It's close, but MJ. Uh, trigger. Kobe. Steven? Kobe. Thomas? Jordan. Sturdy? Uh, Cornfield, Jackson. I'm going to go with Kobe. Mm. And Helio? MJ. Okay. Next category, handle football. Kobe. The right-hand bandit? Mm. Um... Mamba. Hellfire. Kobe. Uh, Killer. Kobe. Trigger. Kobe. Steven. I'm not going MJ. He used to push off a lot. Give me Kobe. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> yeah, Kobe. Sturdy. Yeah, Kobe. You gotta have yeah. a handle to push off, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Kobe. Mm. No, you That's don't. Fact. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Next category is passing football. Now this is tough. Oh, man. come on I'm now. This, this, I'm, yeah, this, this, pretty, this pretty easy. For Only me. one of them play say, point guard. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say MJ, <laughs> and that's not be, and not because of that. I'm gonna say MJ. Doesn't what was the category? Passing. This one should be. This one's very easy for me. But, I think uh, it's the gambler. Fair. It is easy. Uh, Hellfire. Definitely MJ. Killer. MJ. Mars thinks it's Kobe. I know. One thousand percent. Um, <laughs> trigger. Yeah, I got Kobe. Uh, Steven? This is funny. Uh, if Fluent was here, he would definitely try to argue MJ. Is there a playmaking category? Everybody. Yes, that was playmaking. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. So, oh, wow. Yeah, if Fluent was here, he would try to argue MJ's. Oh, that's playmaking? Okay, okay. But, uh, I'll give me Kobe. I'll pick MJ for that. Okay. Uh, Thomas? Yeah, Kobe. Sturdy? Kobe. Helio? Kobe. Okay, playmaking. Football. Uh, MJ? Deza? Uh, Black Jesus. Hellfire. Oh, please. Kobe. <laughs> um, Killer. MG. Trigger. Kobe. Steven. Kobe. Thomas. Jordan. Sturdy. Jordan. Helio. Jordan. Okay, next category, one-on-one -on -one defense. Football. One-on-one -on -one defense, okay. What does that mean? Because yeah, like, I, I don't, I don't want to say, I didn't, I didn't want to say perimeter defense, and then when I do perimeter defense, people just start right. thinking about... On-ball, on-ball defense. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's really on-ball defense. defense. Yeah, it's really on-ball defense, but I, I call it one-on-ball -on -one defense. But you, I'm going to say, say Kobe. I'm going to say Kobe. Yeah. I'll change it to one-ball -on -one defense, but there's no... Okay, so on board defense. On board defense. I'm say, yeah, Kobe. Kobe. Deza. Say Bean. Hellfire. Kobe. Killer. Mike is historically great on that department. So MJ. Okay. Is he? Trigger. Kobe. Steven. Kobe. Uh, Thomas? Kobe. Sturdy? 
Oh. Off ball defense. Football. Did you ask the last? Oh, Helio. Helio. My fault. Helio. Oh, um, Kobe. There we go. My fault. My fault. At least you ain't get rude to me, you know. So shout out to you. Um, <laughs> off ball defense. Football. MJ. Dezo. Six rings. Nice. Hellfire. MJ. Killer. This is a mid off, historic mid off, but <laughs> what? MJ gets the edge. How is this mid off? How is MJ historically great on that's ball? His whole, this is that's a his whole thing. <laughs> yeah, he's got it back. He's, he's entitled it. to his opinion, man. Trigger. Yeah, it's on it. Uh, MJ. Uh, Steven. It's uh, a lot closer than I think. Uh, MJ. Thomas. Yeah, Jordan. I don't know what you mean by mid off, but you know. Neither do I. Start. MJ is called reverse side gambler. Figure out why they call him that. <laughs> Even despite that kill, I'm still going with Jordan. Helia. Um, undefeated. This one is probably negligible, but I put it anyway. Rebounding. Football. How is it negligible? Like, I don't, I don't uh, know how people care. About wait, does, this, does this include offensive rebounds? Too? One yes, of them guy average yeah, eight rebounds. Sure. Come on, man. I'm, Come not, on. I'm not saying it's negligible as in it's close. I'm just saying it's negligible as in people probably don't care. But, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so, Kobe had 19 rebounds in a game seven, but I think Jordan's the overall the better rebounder. Uh, what was that? MJ. Okay. MJ. Dezo. Dezo. Um. Hmm. Uh, I'll go Jeffrey. Hellfire. MJ. Keller. Mike. Trigger. Jordan. Steven. What's the category again? Rebound. Jordan. No one cares. Uh, <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, he's, I, I he zoned, he zoned out, out for real. He was like, exactly, because there's rebounds. In. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I guess Jordan. Uh, Thomas. MJ. Sturdy. No, Jordan. You asked me twice. Oh, my fault. He that one is close, but nobody. Really Jordan. Ac- no, okay. Mars. Ask him again. Ask him a third time. Oh, um, yeah. Sturdy. Rebounding. Um, Jordan. <laughs> Maybe your answer change. Maybe answer change. Third time. Um, Third time next, next, ca- next category. Post game. Um, football. Wow, man. This is. This is a cool oh one. man. This is, is this post moves or like the how you can post no, game. Game. However, however you interpret. Post however game. you interpret. It. However you interpret. That in the post. Because oh. Jordan, the post is just rising up over people. Right. Football. This is this is oh, tough. I don't like this. Um, no. Gonna be a Michael, bag, from man. what I have seen from a, Ted, a, I'm he's I'm gonna, probably gonna, the I'm high gonna, greatest high post scorer, high post. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm, hey, football, I'm going. Football's not I'm, from East Asia. Interesting. I'm going. I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say Kobe. I'm gonna say Kobe. Oh <laughs> uh, man. Oh uh, man. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm say Kobe, man. I'm gonna say Kobe. Even though okay. he got everything he he knows from fucking MJ, bro. Damn. He just elevated a bit more. A bit more. Not everything. Yeah, no, not, not everything. everything because. Not, a, a not everything, but. but he, hey, you, you know what he meant, man. How oh, fast. Yeah. But yeah, Kobe without hesitation. Without mm. mm. oh, hesitation. Killer, you hesitated a little bit. It? Mike, like there is twenty minute video for Mike post move alone. Probably a Kobe too, you know. Yeah, well, one day I'll make one day I'll make a one day I'll make a twenty one minute of Kobe and you'll change your answer. Mm. Um, <laughs> <all right>. Trigger. <laughs> it's Kobe. Easy. Steven. About twenty four minutes. You said Kobe. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It's Thomas. Yeah, Jordan. Sturdy. Even though the West won that 2003 All Star game, that fadeaway above Sean Marion's movie, dog. I'm, I'm going with you. I'm going with you. <laughs> um, Helio. Um, 
Uh, I guess Kobe. Next category. Skill. Well, that's oh my like, god, no. why? No, that's a bad that category. I'm more, I'm, I wait, I'm, I'm nasty for saying who's more skilled. Yeah, I like that. Like, 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 do we handle the skill? Yeah, handle. You guys are since, since, since when is this when is saying who's more we skilled? We talked about guy. all the skill the, right now, man. Yeah, we, what we, we, even is left? Let Kobe get the win. Now people are mad that yeah. I included skill. No, we we're not skill, getting this no, push pro, Kobe prop. This is Kobe prop. So, so, so Mars, for me, skill comprises of all the stuff we've been talking about. So I think it's an umbrella term. So I think oh, you're going to hate that I have a category for overall offense. You're going to hate that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. We know well, who's we, winning. Yeah. That, because <laughs> okay. because well, little we, did you know, you can be better in more categories and still be a worse offensive player. So Same thing with skill. skill. You can be better in more categories. Just... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, skill is a valid okay, category. Okay, so, so I like... Is that, is, wait, is athleticism a skill uh, or no? Athleticism yeah, is the next category after skill. Oh, oh, so oh okay. Okay. just win. All right, relax. Yes, I'm adding a like, uh, I had uh, athleticism. Uh, what the hell? Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take time. skill. I'm gonna take skill as skill set. I'm I'm gonna take MJ. Okay. Damn. Desert. No, yeah, desert. Um. And I'm a I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Kobe. Hellfire. Kobe. Uh, Keller. Mike, slightly. Trigger. <laughs> it's Kobe, man. Kobe. Steven. Kobe. Thomas. Kobe. Sturdy. Number eight. Helia. Oh, uh, Bryant. Do I give MJ the athleticism sweep, or do you actually want me to go through one by one? Yes, yes, sweet. yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Kobe is clearly yes. Jordan is clearly more athletic. Yes, move let's just move on, move on. Okay. Yes. O- overall offense, who's the better offensive player in um, football? Oh man. Mm. Let's football. You said you said passing is MJ. You said playmaking no, is MJ. It's, but the thing is, you don't, we don't have the like the degree of how good certain, so it's different. Exactly. Still, you can still, be better in more categories, yeah. but not be a better offensive player. Like, that's why skill yeah, is a category. So, yeah, that's why it's hard to, to quantify, because I'm trying to think of everything, the intangibles that we're I don't even about. need um, to think on this category. It's Mike by a landslide. Not a yeah, but people are thinking though. Let, let Mars do the roll call, man. I'm, 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 I'm so gonna, while I'm you say, didn't I'm need to think, you could have just like... I'm going to say Kobe. <laughs> well, I'm okay, Kobe. you got Kobe. Okay, ah, um, that's so, it's a wash to me, to be honest. Uh, thirty points per game, six point two rebounds, five point three assists. Okay, okay. Th- thanks for the whole mm-hmm. box score. Appreciate it. Who's love? Who's love? That's MJ. Actually, I'll change it. I'll, oh, okay. I'll change it to MJ. I'll change, I'll change okay. it to MJ. MJ. Okay, how far? Hey, Mars, box score works, bro. Box score works. Stop. I got him. Yeah, of course it does, man. <laughs> it wasn't that, but it's hard. Have I got an answer? Yeah, Kobe. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, oh, next, Killer said it's MJ. Trigger. Uh, definitely MJ. <sighs> Athleticism Steve? carries them. Steven? Uh-huh. Athleticism merchant. <laughs> Skill merchants. Okay. <laughs> did, did, Steve, did, did Steven also? Uh, nah, I'm sorry, boss. Uh, <laughs> I'm crying. It's close, but I'll say MJ. Thomas? Yeah, Jordan. Sturdy? Jordan. Transition for the offense. Overall defense. Yeah. Oh, wait, Mars. It's MJ for me. It's MJ for me, so. For me, it's Kobe. Thank you. Okay, Kobe, Deza. Overall defense, I'm gonna say. Um, Jordan's way worse on ball to me. I don't know about way worse, but he is worse. I think he is. I think he is. But I think Jordan's 
Jordan's a better rim protector. Jordan's a better off ball like defender. How yeah, much better is he off ball? Just, just, just look at his steals and blocks if you want to just go off the box score, just save the time. For off ball. <laughs> sure. I'm a I'm a I'm a still go. I'm gonna still go MJ. I'm gonna still go MJ. Hellfire. Kobe. Keller. I think he's gone. Oh, he left. Yeah. Killer yeah, left. Oh. Replacement. Emmanuel, are you with us? Is he with us? Emmanuel? Is Emmanuel with us? No. Nah, I tried. Wait, is this all <laughs> relative to era? The, the however, you, however you decide uh, however you know, you I, I ain't give you a, I ain't give you a criteria I just go with your gut okay trigger Jordan Steven. Again. defense who's overall the better defense. overall defense overall. yeah Kobe Thomas Kobe Sturdy Jordan I think Jordan got better defensively uh um towards later for the yeah um, Helia. I think Kobe's defense Jordan. is a little bit better. Oh, that one was a tie. That's the first tied category, by the way. First tied category. Um, overall player, overall player. Um, football. Oh, brother. <sighs> MJ. Is this gonna be a sweep? Uh, you know, let me just ask. Jordan. Um, Desert. Yeah. Jordan. Oh, fire. Kobe. Oh, damn. damn. Trigger. Oh, good, good thing I asked. Trigger. Uh, this this is tough. Overall, better player. Yeah, the better player. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to go Kobe. Damn. It's always, the, it's always that vote of that vote for Kawhi in 2016. Always that vote. <laughs> well, it's 2 2 right now, so it's tied right now. Um, <laughs> How is this possible? Steven. I'm not mad at the Kobe picks, but I'm going to go MJ. Thomas? Yeah, give me Jordan. Ah, you guys are running the fun. Study? Jordan. Ah, uh, Helia? Wait, what's it right now? Is this 4 3 or something? Better player. Who's the better Over, player? Overall. Um, Jordan. Okay, it was it was six two. It was it was nice when it lasted. Um, Jordan. Um, so just to just to summarize. Um, oh wait, is this guy toxic? Could you are you with us? Is he with yes, us? Sir. Yes, sir. Do you want do you want to do a quick rundown of the categories and you get to pick who's the better player? I bet. All right, cool, cool, cool. Who's the better finisher between MJ and Kobe? MJ. Mid range. I'm gonna go Kobe. Three point. Kobe. Off ball play. I'll go Kobe. Offense. Handle. Yeah. Kobe. Passing. Kobe. <laughs> Playmate. Oh, yeah. Gotta go Kobe. <laughs> On ball defense. On ball defense. Kobe's everything, man. Just, yeah, I was gonna say, just go. Hey, 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 no, we gotta, we, gotta make sure, we gotta make sure that we, we really got his truth. On ball defense. You got Kobe? Uh... I'm gonna go MJ for that one. Oh, see, see, see? that is that's, crazy. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, off ball that's, defense. Just off ball, off off ball defense. defense. Sounds like reputation. Hey, you got an answer for off ball defense? Kobe. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god! I think you got those two flip flop, bro. <laughs> rebound. Re Maybe he hey, misheard Kobe me. Maybe he thought yeah. I said off oh, defense. No, I, don't I don't know. Um, don't wait, know. rebounding. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. All right, we'll just leave that one blank. Post game. Kobe. Skill. Mm. Kobe. Athleticism. MJ. The better offensive player. Kobe. The better defensive player. <sighs> Kobe. The better overall player. In my opinion, it's, it's Kobe being Bryant, man. There we go. There we Mars, go. So now, now we've got, now we've got scoring, the new right? results like, of the I'm poll. Not mad at that. Now we've got the Mars, new results of the poll. Scoring, right? Well, I did overall offense. I, I did scoring and categories. Yeah, but that's not scoring, though. That's not scoring. Yeah, but I, did, I didn't want to do overall scoring. Is that a problem? Scoring is MJ. So. I mean, that's matter. a big... I didn't want to do big... it. I, did, I, did, I, I split scoring up into categories. I split playmaking up into categories. And then I combined it into overall offensive player. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm not adding a scoring character because I don't want to. I'm, um, so right. MJ MJ swept the finishing. He swept it, and no one got voted for Kobe. The mid range ended up as a five five tie. I think. Wait, one. I think that's a five five tie. Bear with me. 
Um, or is it five four? It might be five four. No, it's, it's five, five, five four. four. It's what? five four. Toxic okay. came along and made it five five. Oh yeah, Toxic. Yeah, Toxic made it five yeah. five. Anyway, go um, the three point shot was a sweep for Kobe. Um, off ball game ended up being six three to MJ. I think. Um, or is that six four? I think it's six four. Six four. My fault. Six four. Um, to MJ. Kobe swept the handle. The passing ended up being. What is this? <laughs> this ain't even 10 votes. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this one don't even have 10 votes. Wait, what the hell? It's going to be 11 because we had 10 before. And then, wait, no, we had 9 because I weren't voting. So it was oh, yeah, yeah. You were voting. Yeah. But wait, is this is this when I kicked out whoever it was for, for giving me attitude? It might have been. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, it does have seven votes. It was six four. Six four Kobe. Pass it. My fault. Damn. Um playmaking was six four to MJ. <clears throat> on ball defense was eight two to Kobe. Off ball defense was nine one to MJ. Rebounding was a sweep for MJ. Post game was seven three Kobe. Skill was eight two Kobe. Athleticism was 10 0 MJ. Overall offense, eight two MJ. Overall defense is six four. Um Kobe and overall player was seven three to MJ. So there you go. You got the Hey Mars. I said Kobe for athleticism. Oh my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. No, you're good. My bad. My bad. So nine one MJ. Nine one MJ in athleticism. How? Oh, can you give your exp exp explanation on that? <laughs> yeah, Yo, how? <laughs> yeah, I am curious. Why do you think why do you think Kobe's the better athlete? Yeah, I want to hear this out. I feel Jesus like Kobe Christ. is the better athlete just because of the more of, of the physicality that he had to face in that in the era of the 2000s versus what Jordan faced. Some of what Jordan faced was a little bit misleading and fraudulent to me when it comes to talking about varying mm. degrees of physicality in the game. Uh even it's though Jordan, even though Jordan what does that have to do with his name, I definitely feel let, like let him cook, let him cook. God, God, God. yeah, just let him cook, let him cook, let him cook. Are you done? Are you, no, done no. you done? Cooking? You, you know, you know, you know. It help if instead of tell, saying while he's talking, let him cook. You just stayed quiet. I'm sorry. Just, just the thought, other people. Just the other people were talking though. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's my bad. Uh, just, just the thought. Just the thought. Are you done? But though? um, so, so, ba so, unless I misunderstood, Kobe played in a more physical era. MJ played in a inferior era, so it made him stand out more. Is that what, basically what you're getting at? Yeah. MJ's skill in his era stood out more to me mm. just be, just because the talent that he was facing was not like as close together as what Kobe was facing, and especially with that how that Western Conference was when Kobe was in it being such a gauntlet every year. If that makes sense. Eastern Conference? I, 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 get, I get the I, argument. I, get I have the a question, though. What about yeah, the 90s? Wait, 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 nah, wait, nah, wait, nah, wait, I, wait, nah, I think I still think it's clear. Come on, I have a question. Uh, it's it's clearly clear. Uh, I, I have a question. Who, who yeah. jumps higher? I just I just want a question. Who jumps higher, in your opinion? MJ. No, to him. To him. It's, he's asking how fast. Sorry, I don't look. At, I don't look at a vert to determine who jump, who to determine who's more athletic. I okay, don't so, but who else is who's faster? Like, just... You know, just looking at them play, who is who has a quicker first step in your opinion? Kobe. Bradley. Come on, come on, come on! Please stop. <laughs> this is wild. Hey, this. hey, an opinion is an opinion, man. Hey, look, I can't really. <laughs> if that's what you think, man, that's what you. Think. I disagree heavily, but if that's what you think, that's what you see. Then it is what it is. Some of when I talk, Kobe. It is a little bit to do personally because Kobe was the first player that I watched when I got into basketball. Uh, I got that sense. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> that's, I, everyone. I, that's everyone who I watched Kobe first. Have, no, I actually still have one of the rarest Lakers Kobe jerseys sitting in my closet on a hanger, rarely worn. So eight, this, eight is my, this, this is my this, this, I gotta this, ask. Hold on. So this, this is my ask. assumption. This I gotta is my ask assumption. Quick, just quick question. Quick question. Who's more athletic, yeah. Vince Carter or Kobe? What? Ooh. Definitely Vince Kennedy. 
this is my assumption for what happened to you, right? I'm assuming that you watched Kobe growing up and you watched him play, blah, 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 blah. And you heard people talk about how MJ was better. So you went back and watched MJ games. You're like, this guy is trash. He's getting jarred, guarded by Joe Dumars. Is that is that kind of what happened? You just kind of saw old games. You're like, this guy is kind of kind of garbage. I've... So what how happened? many old games, though? Huh? No, like, let, no let nothing, you. nothing. So what happened to me? Yeah, I first started watching basketball with Kobe. So I got to – so I – so of course I was lucky when when I was first watching it was the Kobe and Shaq years, but uh, I did go back and watch MJ play. It was way before this we done with the '90s trend BS. It was way before that. I I looked into it the further Kobe got into his peak because I personally wanted to see whether or not I felt like their peaks as a player were comparable. Right, right. And don't get me wrong. There are things that I feel like MJ does better. It's just when it comes to the athleticism, when it comes to the scoring and things of that nature, I feel like MJ stood out more just because of the era that he played in. So when you're looking at athleticism, what are you looking at specifically? Are you just looking at the opponents? Or are you looking at the person as an individual? Because that's where I'm getting the confusion. Combination of both. Combination of both. So, so, so the two of them to me as players are close athletically. It's just that what the deciding factor of it to me was, was that MJ felt like his stood out to me more than what Kobe's did, especially post Jack. Because there was Can that time what? frame between, there was that time frame between when Shaq left and when Kobe got Gasol and Artest as support to where we actually got to see what Kobe as an as an as an athlete was at his peak without anybody else trying to cover for weaknesses mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So when you look at somebody, when you look at you know MJ versus like the Orlando Magic, and you're seeing him going against Penny and Shaq, I, I would assume you think Penny and Shaq are athletic in their own right, and you see yeah, that absolutely right. So and you think that when you're watching those games. Do you look at MJ and you're like, you know, he's not, he doesn't stack up to them athletically, or do you see that there's some kind of rivalry there? I mean, I'm just not understanding. No, I no, I definitely no, I definitely see the rivalry there between between them. Mm. I'm talking athletically though, right? So if you look at Penny, someone who's extremely athletic, and I feel like if you just look at them objectively, someone who can jump high, who's very uh, really uh, well at attacking the rim, um, in any era, I, I look at Penny, I'm like, okay, he's he would translate in any era because of his speed and then his vertical and his first step. And does that, do you agree that someone like him would translate across us, across eras and say, you would say he's extremely athletic? Like, Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I do. My knock on Penny was that he couldn't stay healthy. I wish he could have, because he would, he would translate into, he would translate into this era. He would translate to the 2010s. He would translate into later in the two thousands. Like, if he were to stay healthy, that he definitely would have translated in long term. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Hey. I'm sorry. I got. I got to get you with this one, though. I got to get you with this one. Why is Vince more athletic than Kobe, even though he played in a lesser conference during his time? Because even though I'd say that Kobe is quicker than MJ off the first step. No, 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 Vince, 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 Vince. No, Vince. No, I'm he's trying, gonna no, get, I'm he's to getting to it. He's I'm getting trying to it. explain. My bad, no, my I'm bad, my to... bad. No, you're good. I feel like Vince had the quicker, was quicker off the first step, quicker off ball on his cuts and things of that nature, especially when it was peak Vince with with his, with uh, Tracy McGrady in Toronto and a little bit of those earlier next days too. I definitely feel like that was where his best – was shown athleticism wise uh and no this isn't the casual dunk contest take no i felt i felt like he the, was a lot more, I, I felt like he was a lot more athletic than what he was being given attention to before that dunk contest vince carter is the most effortless jumper i've seen in the nba and that and that also and that also plays a part that definitely does 
Wait, shouldn't we also ask him like what Jordans he did he watch though? Like that's my, also relevant. My thing is this: when you say you don't look at at like the, someone's vertical jump or you know, I don't understand why you don't look at that. Why don't you look at someone's vertical jump? I mean, when you when you see Jordan. The guy is, I may say, like, he's, oh, he's flying through the air. I'm not like, oh, he's the airness. But I'm saying you see his hang time. You see his ability to, you know, double clutch, his ability to, you know, just jump over a defender. I mean, you see, I don't know if you saw his junk dunk over Jack Sigma. The guy takes two steps and he just throws all over top of it. I, I, I just don't see Kobe doing Okay, this you're confusing. You, okay, no, you're confusing the ability with the number on a stat sheet. I mean, I'm looking at what he's doing, right? I'm looking at. I, looking at I, I, but when I say that I'm not looking at a at someone's vertical, I am not looking at a number that gets put onto a stat sheet from a combine. To no, no, whether or not that's someone's more athletic. Right. So I don't believe that 48 inch vert either. But what I will say is that looking objectively at his vertical, I mean, just looking how high he can jump in game, I just never seen Kobe move like that. That's all I'm saying, right? I'm just saying, you look at Kobe coming into the league, his ability to jump, his ability to move. Uh, you think his first step was quicker? I disagree, but you know we can just move past I that. I vehemently disagree. Yeah, we can look. We can move past that. But you say you don't look at vertical jump. I'm not looking talking about the combine. I'm just talking about when you're watching them play and who jumps higher. You can agree that MJ jumps higher, correct? I can agree that he jumps higher, but I honestly feel like. There's a lot more to someone's athleticism than how high someone jumps. So you're talking about okay. strength. So you mean his strength? Have you ever looked? Have you considered? Well, why don't we like ask him? him? What do you consider to be the attributes of athleticism? So for basketball, to me, it's how how quick you are off your off your cut, um, like your like like off, off like off your first step. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, the, the effort, the uh, ability to jump is a little bit lower off the list to me. But when I also look at why is that? Okay, so we've seen we, we've seen effortless athletes when it comes to like their ability to jump and their wingspan and things like that. Potentially, like they get exposed, whether it's because of them not putting the effort in with the rest of their game to make the athleticism translate, like with Zion, or it's with other issues. But I'm not, I'm not but the way that I see it, he's I have about to, functional I have to, athleticism. That's what he's talking about how the athleticism translates to like impact on a basketball court. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. That's, that's what he's talking about. I see, I see. So you're saying, so you're saying MJ's functional athleticism was lower than Kobe's. Is that what you mean? Essentially, yeah. I just think MJ. Has I still disagree, but I yeah, mean, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I I see where he's coming from. I guess I see, like, I see your perspective. I just don't see what you're seeing. Essentially, you know, when I'm looking at MJ, the guy can jump off either either foot easily. I mean, left foot, right foot, two foot. I mean. It's really rare you get that kind of combination of um, explosiveness and the dexterity when it comes to jumping. So I guess we'd have to agree to disagree because if you think that MJ's first step was slower than Kobe's, I don't really see where we can go from here. My who, do, who do you think is a more who do you think is more coordinated between the two, MJ or Kobe? Coordinated. More coordinated. That goes the. I think I think Kobe has better balance. And yes, um, that's true. Yeah. Dexter dexterity, I would say, is probably Kobe, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, that one dexterity, I feel like that one's closer than what people think. Like I'm with you. I'm not sure how far how far the gap between Kobe and MJ is when it comes to dexterity, but it's not far. Hellfire, yeah, in but... your opinion, who's better at the rim? At the rim? Well, he picked he picked MJ for the finishing. Oh, yes, so I did. Cat Hey, yeah, I, did. MJ. I definitely was think MJ was the better finisher. Okay. Who's got the stamina advantage? Mm. Oh. Let's get to the real weeds. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. Well, we, we definitely are at this point. Who's more bald? 
Who would blow balls? <laughs> hey man, MJ is let's the get ball. To, let's get let's get to the facts. Let's get to the facts. Man. Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the MJ. Ball. What, what age? What MJ age did? Ball. What age did both of them go bald? Like, yo, Morris, are 26. you measure that? Are you measure so bald? Well, we gotta, hey, we gotta man, speak. you go, you gonna measure the 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 skull to follow cool ratio? What we talking MJ, about? MJ, actually, you know what? <laughs> MJ didn't shave it off until <laughs> like '88. That's what I'm saying. MJ, Who went bald first? You MJ didn't commit to the bald until like '88, so he loses. To be honest with you, Kobe was like, yeah, yeah. but Kobe, but we had Furby to like. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say Froby was a lot. But yeah, and 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 Froby? to answer the and to answer the question about the stamina, it's I feel like that's a wash because they're both at the same tier in that, if that makes sense, especially if they're yeah. peak. One could argue that especially the 80s is a much faster paced era than anything Kobe played in. And MJ was playing. Like I could see it, yeah. And it's, I mean, especially with how slowed down the 2000s was a little bit. So you could argue MJ probably was. If you watch those old, M- if you watch those old MJ games, he is running up and down the court, and on top of that, he's holding the ball so much that like he yeah, is. So just, you, I, I'd probably, I'd probably say, I'd probably say the endurance probably goes to MJ. Um, also, I mean, yeah, ball, to fight he, you he, better. He, he played, he played 82 games more often than Kobe did too. So that. this, yeah, this is true. So I'd, I'd I'd give it I'd give that to to um, yeah that's fair agility uh, I'd give to MJ um, I mean in all facets of athleticism I personally give to MJ except maybe strength early on in their career because Kobe was mm-hmm. stronger early on I think earlier on in his career I think yeah um, like twenty one year old Kobe was stronger than twenty one year old right oh, yeah mm-hmm. absolutely MJ MJ had that wiry strength yeah he didn't yeah, get he like strong until like. I would say like actually strong to like maybe ninety two or ninety three maybe, but yeah, but every other yeah. athletic, facet of athleticism I'd give to MJ personally, um, like ath- uh, agility, vertical explosiveness. Is this you know, guy just... Brandon dumb? What the hell? Uh, just he, no, uh, Mars, Mars, he has been kicked from <laughs> open field uh, chats on like five accounts. Like, did I not? This man, this man said that's a dumb take by Mars because the nineteen eighties was an up tempo era. Did I not say verbatim? <laughs> the 1980s was an up tempo era. Like, did I not say that? Like, am I like, he's, did I... like we were just talking about that. I even mentioned how the 2000s was slower. But then, but then, but then like... he said Jordan played in a fast and slow tempo eras. Mmm. <laughs> he's he's so really he's like, like he played, I'm an absurd CD dog. If I ever seen one, like, are we really arguing Kobe is more athletic than Mike? Like, what is Go going on? on? We're not. We're not is Kobe a cop apocalypse a near or what? Like, is world end near? Like, what is happening? We're having a conversation. You're not arguing. You're having a conversation. <laughs> You know, I'm not. I, I like. Look, I disagree. I don't really care that much. It's just basketball at the end of the day. So, look, it's it's whatever. You know, he can th- he can think Kobe's more athletic. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I just I just disagree. But a couple super chats. Alanar said I'm a Warriors fan tonight, so we need Alanar to die. Um, Thank you. <laughs> drink, drink more water. Said everybody keeps saying the league today is more talented than the league before. Which years or draft classes did the influx of talent take place? Ninety six. I no, mean. No. If, 98 for me like, I, would, I mean i would argue like as far as like today's league 2014 2010s, 2010s was the start of that influx of more talent coming in more skill coming in and to it's where probably, you know what i think it's probably underrated in these discussions is probably the advent of youtube hear me out right People okay. being able to go online and look up skill training and share skill training and social media in general is probably one of the biggest un, uh, under discussed things in terms of development of talent in the league, right? Being able to share ideas on how to develop your moves. Like years ago, if someone learned the Pinoy step, I don't know if everybody knows this, but the Pinoy step, if you mm-hmm. learn that move in your, like you learned that in the garage, like you're, you know, you're just playing in the garage, no one would know about that move unless you shared it with them as a college player or you're going to your high school and you're teaching other kids that how to do that move. Now you just go online, you just type how to do the Pinoy step and everybody knows how to do it. It's just shared all over the social media. So mm-hmm. um, I don't so think there's, there's more, one... so there's more access to like, yeah, yeah the skill training. For, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this so, point, I heard that in Ben Taylor video too, that shooting have become better because of practice, something along of that line. Like what? If you practice shooting, like, you get better. Yes. 
Yeah, like yeah, that's a common sense that thing. thing like, was not more prevalent back then, if I remember correctly. What practice? Practice? Like, practice. Or, they were apparently, 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 back apparently, back apparently, then. apparently players that's practice what he said. less now. But what I what what I do want to say, like I think I hear this a lot, like and not from like anyone up here, but generally speaking, when like especially the old heads, when you bring up like people shoot better now or whatever the case, and then they'll be like the three point percentage like the average has been like 36 for like 20 years or something like the league average has been like 36 or around there for a long time and they use that as like the example of players haven't really gotten better at shooting which is nonsensical the volume and the reason it's nonsensical is because like how like just follow me here in today's league you probably have four guys on the court minimum who are capable of, sh of shooting threes like at, probably most teams are going to have four guys who even if they're not capable they're going to be shooting threes 20 years ago 30 years ago you might have two so just from a top to bottom thing there's more people shooting threes now so the fact that the league average is still about 36 percent, i think it's now 37 percent, somewhere close to it would show that the players have gotten better because the only people who used to shoot threes 25 years ago were the shooters so exactly. if the if the only people shooting back then were the people who were considered shooters and they were only at around average of 36 37 percent so and now we're in a league where 85 percent of people are shooting and they're still at 36 percent that would that would directly show that the league has gotten better at shooting just based on the fact that more people are shooting because the bigs weren't yeah. shooting back in the day so just by volume of the league all around more people are shooting so that's why Jamal, it's less about the, 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 the question. Quick question. Your Mars, is, did the free throw percentage go up too? Uh free throw percentage now league wide, I believe, is about like 78%. Like 20%. Yeah, it I think, it I think it was like 76, 75%. Yeah, but I was gonna ask you since we were talking about like uh shooting going up and more people shooting and whatnot, do you still feel like the American game is behind the European game when it comes to certain things, like for basketball? Um, I think, I think the, from my, from my perspective. Um, yeah, from, think, from your perspective, since you're over there. And because from my perspective, I feel like we're still behind. Yeah, I think, I think the biggest reason why I think, I think you're behind, well, I think what makes you guys forever behind is, um, the team aspect of it and how like a lot of the things that NBA teams are doing now is stuff that teams in Europe have been doing in terms of sets to say, get guys yeah, teams in Europe were doing that back when Dirk played that. over there. Like they, th so like spacing concepts and ball movement and away from ISO ball is stuff that like, they've been doing for a very long time. And it's like, there's no wasted, no wasted actions. Like in the two thousands, if you watch like NBA basketball in the two thousands, that there's so many just wasted actions that aren't really there to do anything other than like you're making this cut for the sake of it. But in like Europe, every cut, there's a reason why you're making that cut because maybe you're setting a back screen for someone else to, to curl off and then you're going to get turned that into a high pick and roll, all of that. Like nothing is wasted, in my opinion. And I think the re biggest reason why I think America's falling behind is college. I think college is just way behind everything. Like I think overseas, I like professional basketball, basketball overseas is like so superior. College is like bad. Like it's just oh, bad. It is awful. It is terrible. The amount of horrendous drop coverage that gets played. The amount of bad on ball and off ball screen defenses. The amount of lack of post threats that are getting the ball next to ball dominant wings in college ball today is terrible. And the thirty second shot clock doesn't help either. That that that's, that doesn't help. And like. Just the way the way the floor is like the way they use the floor and the way they like use their players is just so archaic. Like there's no there's no reason why you're set you're running a bunch of fake fake screens and handoffs. Th thirty five, yeah, it was thirty five. They've actually lowered it. There, there's no reason you're running a bunch of fake actions to then just end up turning it into a pick and roll anyway. Like that's just a waste of time and you're doing nothing. And then spacing is all over the place the way they use post players is like it's just very old school and people like it's like oh this is real basketball but it's because they haven't adapted to the way the game is played at all and that's why i think college is probably the worst place to go if you want nba translation i don't i don't think is i don't think it compares at all just like the sets they run like it's just so like, like i'm watching teams run horns at the elbows who in the nba is running horns at the elbows in 2024 
No, it was in the 70s. So but like, saying, that's what they're doing. Down. And like, it's just so old. Like, no one's playing like that anymore. So you've got guards who are going to college who are like very dynamic, very athletic. You need to be able to use their skill sets. And then you've got them just running these old school offenses and they end up just not looking good. And then they come to the league and they look better because that's how the NBA is played. College is just a bad place for development, in my opinion, if you're trying to go to the league. That yeah, would be like then, my and last then, And then I heard that... We did allow high schooler back, right? Michael, like the, they're, they're getting rid of that. Yeah, I don't... That's 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 if you're a, if you're a young player in America, I would suggest playing overseas before you go to the league. That's what I would suggest. But that's what Brian I mean. Everyone's do. different. Everyone's different. Didn't so. the 18 year old rule is back? Like high schooler can come to join NBA now. No. That rule is lifted, right? Uh, no, no the age got raised to 19, right. which right. In, right. in most instances that still requires you to have a year of college ball or. Uh, they did have G League Ignite, but that's about to be abolished. Yeah, that G League Ignite is getting packed up. G League Ignite. Yeah, right. it's I getting packed up. We heard Adam Silver saying that the veterans have done to try to get themselves minutes more than the people who are supposed to be getting their uh, getting themselves acclimated to the NBA game before they actually go into the NBA. So, to me. With the way that the college game is now, like Mars said, if I were a if I were a younger guy coming out of high school playing basketball, I'd go overseas because yeah, that, that, that would be my first because choice. we we are still going to be so behind when it comes to developing players that like like you said the spacing that we have now was going on in the European game twenty years ago, and just like now with Wemby. I'm sure there were a couple other players that were uh, bigs that were that good defensively and also really good offensively, not to Wemby's level, but that were also over there too. So we're going to be behind in trying to deal with that kind of a specimen of a ball player too. Yeah, I think, I think unfortunately, I think there's like, there's a bunch of players. And the NBA was, I think, it took them a while. Like, the early 2010s was not very good basketball at all. But, like, I think there's a lot of players who are just, like, too early, in my opinion. And the NBA took a while to change. And now it's changed. You get to see, like, all these offensive talent or guys 6'10", 6'11", doing all these things, passing, playmaking. But, like, you had players like that who just got put in boxes, like, 20 years ago, which kind of, like... I'm, I don't know if that makes them what-if players, but... They definitely their game would have been a lot more expanded if they played today, which is unfortunate. They thought but Tony Kukoc to, was I think alien that, in '92. I think to answer I mean, the original, Tony Kukoc was like point forward, handling he was, the ball. How he's six ten, six ten. He was like shooting yeah. threes and bringing the ball up the floor in '92. Like those, like, I know, like a lot of European players had like this, not the same skill. I think players today are still more skilled, but like they had skills, like they had ball skills, passing, team defensive concepts. But a lot of that just gets mitigated when you're playing in the 90s because the team defensive concepts kind of don't exist because it's not allowed. And then also they're not allowing 6'10 guys to be really your playmaker unless you're like on the balls or something. So Tony Kukoc was in a pretty good situation. But generally speaking, like they didn't really use them to the best of their abilities and you end up, and then they ended up getting called soft and stuff because the game just played weird. So I think uh, I think to answer to answer the original Super Chat about which draft uh was the start of the influx in talent i think 2018 was the uh, draft because you had superstars like luca shea and trey in there and then you also had like you know really respect good... jalen brunson jalen brunson as well yeah yeah um, Mikhail bridges yeah. <laughs> oh sure, come sure, on sure, sure, sure. um but, but then you but then you also had did you just you look at those I'm on Mikel Bridges. Are you kidding? But then you then you also had really good impactful like role players in there too, like Michael Porter Jr. and uh you know Dante DiVincenzo. Mikel was about to be on there. your team, Mars. No, he wasn't. Um Robert Williams was also <laughs> in that draft. Um you also had uh Gary Trent Jr., uh Jared Vanderbilt, Bruce Brown, like a, a lot of good, good, solid players were in that 20 I think draft. So I think I don't think it's a particular year. I think it's like you got longevity has become a much bigger thing. So guys, I mean, LeBron's the exception. He came in in 03. But like mm -hmm. guys who came in, KD came in in 07 and he's still around now. Like normally mm -hmm. that's unheard of, 17 years. 
Steph came in in 09. He's still around now. Um, then you got guys like 2012, like Anthony Davis and Kyrie in 2011. They're still around, just chilling, being elite players. And then that come, and then that culminates with the players who come in in 2017, like Jason Tatum, and then Luca and Trey Young and Shea and Jalen Brunson in 2018. Then Zion comes along, John Morant. Um, Anthony yeah, Edwards. That's when, like, that's when it really they're started. all coming along while the old players who normally would just be phased out by now are still here. You end mm -hmm. up with a league that has the young players who are ascending into superstardom and the old guys who still haven't declined into just being good players. They're still superstars. And now you just have a league that's full of a bunch of old and young superstars where you probably haven't had that before. Yeah. And speaking of players that it's are getting phased, rushes, it's and it's speaking of players that are getting phased out. After Rudy Gobert is done, I don't know if another center of his play style can make it into the league without having to be in some form like Wimby. He pisses me off. I hate Wimby. Wait, what? Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I think like, I, mean, uh, might be like, I think teams are still going to have like a place for like the Jarrah Allen archetype. I think that's just... Yeah, Jarrah yeah, Allen's in the league right now. But do I think, do I, do I still think, playing do I think in the league. league. Do I think teams are going to have use for... Uh, They're still being drafted. Man, a big man who is a just blatant liability offensively. Nah, I, I don't think. Really. Wait, is Rudy really Gobert like, a liability? Yeah, is Derek Lively a liability on offense? No, so Derek Lively, no, Derek Lively can pass the ball. People Rudy think that oh, he can pass the ball though, way better and catch the ball. That's yeah, like, like I think Gobert is that much of a liability offensively that. I don't know if people are if if there's going to be able to be guys that are that much of a liability and be that dependent on their defense, be able to stay with the way that the league's continuing to evolve without having to have more of their offensive uh, developments in, into their games. So the Jared Allen archetype, I feel like, is different than the Rudy Gobert yeah, archetype okay. yeah. because of the gap. Yeah, of Jared Allen is so good. Rudy Gobert league. plays on offense like he's someone's controlling him with a controller. I don't. Wait, what about Mobley? <laughs> Mobley, I don't, I don't know. Bro. I feel I like he doesn't know how hey. to use his body. His arms are not attached to himself. I don't get it. I just don't understand how he just can't lay the ball up. I don't think Mobley's a positive offensively in this. In ben, the I think, I, I, I think, I think he's, he's good luck, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. In the Cavs, like yeah, lineup. I think. I, just, I mean, we've already seen like positive. the archetype, the Tony Allen archetype or the Andre Robeson archetype of a wing defender who is terrible offensively, but they're so good at premier defense that you still play them. That archetype's already dead. They are dead, though. Yeah. They are dead, man. He, and he, he was still not right. And now, and now, like, now it's like... Respect Vando? Got... Well, hey. yeah, low, yeah, low key state, yeah, Vando's the difference. He, and, now, and now he's 6'9". He's, nice, he's so not he playing, bro. He's and only over with aura, and now he's also very situational. That, that's the thing with Bando in the playoffs. He becomes very. And sometimes we have to put him on the bench. Yes, that's situational. But like, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, like so they've already they, they've already like become extinct. And now like it's you've got you might be able to get away with like a non shooting wing, but you have to be able to do other things. You have to be a tremendous athlete. You have to be a, a good secondary playmaker. You have to be able to. Do something. You have to be a threat. Yeah, and, and your something. and your defense also can't be this overwhelming gap in the negative in comparison to what you're doing everything else offensively. Yeah, so like we were, we're at a point where you have to be able to do multiple things. Like seven years ago, like the 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 best players to have to fill out your roster was like three and D guys. Like that, that's what you needed. You got your stars and you got three and D guys. You're just gonna spot up. They're gonna catch. They're gonna shoot. Now we're at a point where three and D guys aren't even cutting it no more. You need to be able to attack a closeout. You need to be able to make the yes. right reads if, if teams if teams actually when you do close out and a, the big man shows to you, you have to be able to make the right reads. Like you already the role players games are becoming yeah, like, yeah, like games someone like Jalen Suggs is an example of that. I think that's yeah, why like, it's, more, it's more it's more than three and D now. Like switch. That's why yeah, I shuck with like, that's why I shuck with yeah. relative to era because just because you can't get a job in the league today doesn't mean you're not a good basketball player, right? I don't mm -hmm. think Kenyon Martin would have get a job in today's NBA. It doesn't mean he's terrible, right? What? Mm -hmm. No, he would definitely get a job. Did he say what? Kenyon Martin? Kenyon Martin. Yeah, I mean, why not? He couldn't, he couldn't shoot without with like in the early Nets. There, yeah, he but he shoot. did. He did. But he was he was still he was still not, uh, Swiss uh, Army, not a liability. Not Swiss, Swiss he was Army, a great defensively, great great virtual great in transition. Okay, like, I, 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 I feel like, like he wouldn't be as 
instrumental today as he would have been back then, right? I don't think he no. You put been... you put you put Kenny replace Kenny Martin with Aaron Gordon. The Nuggets do the same exact thing. You say Aaron Gordon? Yes, Aaron Gordon from Nuggets. They do the uh, same exact thing. I don't think probably better. Probably better. Better? I don't think he's the lob nearly the lob threat. I don't think what. Huh. Aaron Gordon times the cup so perfectly gone. every time. I don't, I don't know, but that would be his archetype. I'll say that. That would be his. That's archetype. what I'm saying. Like but that, that archetype right. still has a, a part in the but league. That, like I don't. How, val yeah. how valuable is that Aaron Gordon archetype if not next to one of the best playmaking bigs in the league? Uh, no, that that's what I'm true. saying, Morris. It's like, it's like, it's, it's more so. I get what people are saying. Like certain archetypes are as portable or versatile as, or like actable that you can put in any other team. But I do think just because you're certain archetype. You can still construct a roster enough to put them in place for that. But my point That's is, is do, do, my, teams my, want, do teams want to construct a roster to pick Kenny exactly Martin? just because? No, no, no I'm saying, I'm saying, can't not, 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 he can't be the best player, he can't be the best player, but I'm saying he could be a damn good role player. But my, That's my point is, right? Just because the archetypes of the past necessarily wouldn't succeed as well today, but that doesn't take away from how good they were relative to their era, right? That doesn't mm -hmm. mean that they're bad players. Like, if you're gonna play in a pickup game. And so, like, you know, uh, let's pick a random role player from the 2000s. doesn't mean they're not going to get cooked by them. doesn't mean they're not a great player relative to everybody else. It doesn't mean that is they can't get a role in today's NBA that requires pace and space. It doesn't mean they're bad. It just means that it's different. Yeah, the, the game the game is different also with different things, and then players end up missing out. Like, the, I mean, the best one is what? Zach Eady. Zach Eady is a lottery pick in drafts 20 years ago yeah, yeah he's exactly. okay so he, it's going from lottery pick to late day two his range is so varied i mean what do you, do you guys think he'll get drafted he's gonna get drafted i, mean, he'll, he'll he'll get drafted, like, yeah. a, I just highly uh, doubt some i just highly doubt someone like him is gonna do much in yeah i see him play. Mean he, bad he, boss, know, he also has a very selective fit because of what we were talking about the archetype Mm -hmm. People are saying uh, he should go to OKC. Is that this? There's so many. There's Pete, so many I'm not gonna lie. This obsession yeah. of giving. A, oh, we have to end the show soon, so I can't even say too much. But this obsession of giving OKC a big is getting out of hand. I'm sorry. Like, they, yeah, they're not, they're I, not that desperate. Yeah, this is just this is just let Chet develop. Chet, honestly, no, what they need, what they need to me is another win. Just Maybe give Chet HGH. Give them Jonathan Isaac, and I promise none of them, none of these problems you guys yeah. are having any. But Put what they Chet need, they need to avoid the Lakers in the first round. Then they need to do. Yeah, but we do need to end the show. Um, I think Thursday is there a show after this? I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't open think field, which I'm gonna open be on field that. is next. Yeah, yeah okay. field. there we go. Hellfire will be on open field, so you'll get to see more. Is there a show tomorrow? tomorrow? Shout out tomorrow, Hellfire tomorrow. There's saying? open gym. Um, watch okay, me on playback. Okay. Um, tonight doing the Houston and Warriors game, so catch me there. You gotta um, win that, Mars. You have to, and I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs>